Hello and welcome back. This is episode 16 of the Ballad of Wyatt Holiday. My name is Joshua, and I know sometimes playing these single-player RPG games can be a bit lonely and isolating, so if you ever feel those feelings creeping up, feel free to put on this video or any video I do in this series and consider yourself to be gaming with a friend. So what are we playing today? I am going to be playing Starfield. Shocker of shockers. I know. But it's Monday. Let's start off the week, hopefully, with a little excitement. Where we left off, we had just run the Red Mile for May Divine, so she could put in the call for us to get a meeting with Marco Graziani, I believe his name was. So, yeah, I, I kind of stopped that early because I have been on such a time crunch lately, and I'm hoping today is... Saturday the 2nd. I'm hoping I can knock out a couple of these episodes this weekend. That way it'll give me time to be a little more relaxed during the week. Uh, because I have some personal things I want to get done. Mostly painting miniatures. Uh, I have some some stuff I need to finish up for that. And, and a few other uh, miniature related projects I need to get done. So... It's a it's a lot of work, but I'm really hoping to just Sam easy with the what, you put on a new pair of Jordans, man. Yikes! All right, so let's go talk to May and see what she was able to set up for us. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner. You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. What did your message say about me? Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. What else can you tell me about him? He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Oh, then I'll be heading for Kodos. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Should we run it one more time? Just for... Just for giggles? Might be interesting. I very rarely run it more than once. Might be worth doing again. Don't keep Marco waiting. But the red mile is not for the weak and faint of heart. Yeah, I've Good. already done this. Very well then. Then you're on your own. Good luck, runner. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip through that dialogue. I don't know what I was thinking. My apologies. She just essentially doing a disclaimer that you are of sound mind I think I was just I don't know why I did that I I shouldn't have done that and I apologize wasn't even talking to you bro mind your own business you fucking silver clad nutcase I was meaning to check in with Cora anyway make sure your ship's still in one piece this great contestant has come to run the infamous Red Mile for your entertainment and gambling pleasure. Is anyone's guess if our esteemed runner can pull up another victory today? So consider the odds when placing your bets. Without further delay, open the door and let our challenger begin what could be their final run. Ooh, man. How could you just not be flattered when you have, you know, four people clapping for you like that? I mean, it's enough to instill courage into your most ailing uh, companions. Alright, let's... 
nothing to it but to do it. Even though we literally just ran it, we're gonna fucking run it again. Last episode I realized was called Running the Red Mile, and I didn't do that until about like 30 minutes in. So we're gonna, we're gonna start it off right today. Oh! I don't like how if something hits you midair, it stops you in your tracks like that. Maybe I'm just being picky. Ooh. That was pretty painful. Oh! Do I have any amp I can take? Oh, we do have some. Thank God. Oh, damn, dude. Now we're running like a little crackhead. That's nice. Starfield confirms. Drugs good. I don't even have it like... Okay, yeah, I gotta... Just so... Because it would be, you know, in a place where you gotta run a straight line, my dumbass would get lost. 110%. But having amp here actually makes this a lot better. Though I'm wondering if I should have saved it for the return trip. See, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, baby. Contusions cured. Just for me to like get them again in a second. Oh man, we made it back like crazy fast. We made it back crazy, crazy fast. I mean, I know we're not like back yet, but I mean, we're damn close. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just in time for the amp to wear off, man. Did we did we do all right or did we do all right here? That's not so bad. Hell, I'd say uh I'd say that was pretty sweet. Somewhere. You better stop messing with my Welcome back again, Runner. I'm very impressed with your continued victories here. A successful win demands my appreciation. Please, take your reward. You've certainly earned it. You'd rather go back to the days when this place was raided and plundered on a regular basis. <laughs> The occasional pirate made woods at his bark of it. Then the pirates would leave and the guests would return. If it were up to me, I'd no, find a lot of right now. Did my chances with the pirates? Well, it's not up to I hear you're you one of the runners to watch. Meanwhile, Oh, hey, we've got two successful runs on there now. So now we gotta go see Mr. Marco.
Good, man. No one's fucking talking to you anyway. Fucking shit for brains. Maybe that's why nobody likes ecliptic mercs, man. They all have concussions. What are you, NFL players? Bunch of brain-dead morons. Not that everybody in the NFL is a brain-dead moron. Go Lions. So now we're going to Kodos. I have a feeling soon we're going to have to give Sam a lot of, uh, a lot of equipment to carry. Ready here. I'm hoping there's no sh You know what, Robin? Fine. You win. Hey, I'll ask this random a joke? in a depth uh, of space sure. if they know how to oh, get God. where we're going better than I do. Okay. Okay. Ship, you Who can me? jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Um, I don't know. Who? Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> Terrible joke. But let's... Hey, that's because we did jump that bit. Robin... <laughs> Can you go Dora. five minutes without interrupting <laughs> hey, next time me? you see Barrett, try it Maybe if you listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. Maybe I should give you directions to the nearest marriage counselor instead. Already got one, thanks. She's the one who suggested this damn trip. Visit the big city, she said. The excitement will be good for you too. Oh, if only someone had suggested a quiet weekend at home instead of traipsing around the entire galaxy in a rental ship. Oh, if only. Look, do you know the way or not? The sooner we get off the ship, the better. You're right. It's just up ahead. <laughs> How about that, Robin? I told you I knew where we were. Well, you don't have to look so smug about it. Uh, I'm never going to hear the end of this. Thanks for your help. Make your way. Oh, I'm so glad I have your permission. So, where is Kodos? Oh, he's like right by Aquila. Well. Well, how do I get here then? So I can travel to Olympus, or Arane, whatever. Walk 9. Engage. Board's all great. Successful job. So his ship is called Fortuna. And he is landed. Okay, thought I was going to have to meet him in orbit. Hopefully there's no ship battle. That's a nice looking ship, honestly. Well, now...
Fasco, keep it running. Whoa. Low grav don't mean no grav, but this is nice. So let's see this fancy luxury ship I've heard so little about. Not impressed so far. Slightly more impressed. You the runner. Bus is in the back. Oh. Beat the red mile, huh? Nice. Marco's done well for himself. One might say too well. I mean, I would say that at least. Nope, don't open that door, Sam. This got my eyes on you. Better behave while you're in here. You're lucky to get a meeting with Marco. These cats look a little too young to be colony war veterans from 20 years ago. The first don't mess around. You're to join the first. Nice. Best merc company there is. Okay, so you're mercs, I guess. Not all of you are veterans. Beat the red. The first don't mess around. You're lucky to get a meeting with Mark. Mm. Nice shit, huh? Better behave, Holly Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. Why don't we have a room like this? Just full of knock your socks off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. Sis. Very nice ship. I'm slightly worried we're gonna be fighting our way out of here. And I don't have a ton of bullets. I mean, we've only got what? What is it? 46 plus 52 rounds? Uh, that's not gonna be. That might be tough, I'll say. But I suppose we'll just have to make it work. Oh, there he is. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Oh, man. Let's just say your organization? You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member. I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so there is a constant need for skilled pilots. Well, I get. Guess they don't really give you the option for subtlety here. So why don't we just show badge and say, "I've got some questions about the first. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Co. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. So why would the Major want a confrontation? To settle accounts. Hmm. Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. And you mentioned the Major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hull spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. 
You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. I want details on the first's operations, including who hired you. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, mm -hmm. I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Hmm. No deals. Tell me what I want to know or face the consequences. Oh. Aceptar mi negocio o aceptar las consecuencias. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. Oh. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Hmm. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing this to protect innocent people. Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. Okay. Day. Well, better we get it than someone else. Is there a turret in here? I mean, yeah. Oh no, it's a camera. There's a turret. What? Oh, there it is. Well, damn it. I remember, I gotta remember to, uh. Today's not gonna be your day, pal. I gotta remember, no, no reloading. Damn, Margo. Dude had a damn love shack in this, uh, in this place. Hmm. You need some help here. There's like 400 of you. I need some help here. Maybe I can, uh... I was able to save a little bit there. I probably didn't give me much health. Yeah, that gave me barely any health, honestly. Mm. Man, I feel like I can smell this room. Jeez, that was really bad shooting on my end. Gotta bury you, Scat! This feels like old times. What the hell do those security cameras do? Do they actually serve a function? If they do, I'd like to know what that function is.
Woohoo! Yeah, I mean, we might as well get them all. Uh oh. So is that probably what's up ahead here? Security camera? Yeah, I think we got everybody. I think it's uh I think it's safe to reload here. Greetings, Captain. I think we may have to stop in uh oh, love the smell of getting back into the harness. New Atlantis real quick. We're going to have to give this other encrypted slate to Alex Shadid. So. So, Miss Stay Up Late Under the Covers. Did you learn? Oh, God. Talk with Sam Co. Again? Sam, how much can you possibly have to say, bro? Can we talk? Yes, we can talk, but that's. Every episode, he needs to talk about something. It's madness. Is it just much easier to get affinity with your, um, with your, um, oh, what the hell? They must be sweating bricks. Shields down. Well. I know we're already here in the Aquila system, or in the Cheyenne system, but it's been a while since we've been to, uh, Jemison, so... We're gonna have to um, just jump on out of here. Oh, come on, they're shooting at us. And we're out. Yeah, we need to uh, definitely do some trading. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Complete. You are clear to land at New Atlantis. Yeah, it'll be good to uh, get some of this uh, sold off, and then we'll. Uh, drop this slate off with Alex Shadid and see what he needs from us next or maybe something to Marshall needs from us next Sam how do you tell Sam how do you teleport how do you do that it's incredible my guy take that hat off you look like a moron You don't look distinguished like Wyatt here. With his big ears and his oddly shaped head. I am not a stunt. There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something. Oh, please, take a look. Oh. You have some 7.5 rounds? Yeah, of course you don't. Hmm. 
That wasn't so bad. Um. Yeah, we'll sell that. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. So we've got ourselves uh, enough. Um, we got ourselves enough uh, weight to move around without getting uh, too weighed down. So let's head to residential district because I want to hit Centaurian Arsenal first, uh, mainly because I want to see if she has some 7.5 rounds for me. Also, as we're starting to level up, uh, should we maybe consider getting Sam a new, uh, new weapon? Also, I know this isn't the first time we've been here. Maybe it's just the first time we've taken the gnat here. I thought it was weird when I was looking at the thing to land that we hadn't discovered this yet. Yep. You're here because you need something you can connect with. Something you could count on. Am I right? Well, I'm actually looking for something Only that will connect with someone else. Of armaments in the settled systems. Ah, there we go. That's a nice feeling. Those rounds are they're tough to get. How often do I even really use these? Let's just sell them all. So we're going to take the gnat here as well, and then we're going to head to the commercial district. We're going to hit UC distribution, see if they have anything for us, and probably somewhere we can sell some more general junk. So commercial district. Oh, I know you can. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? I'd like a ship. Oh, wait. Sorry, I forgot. I hope we have what you need. Do you have ships? Oh, <gasps> she has some 7.5 rounds. Nice. Well, let's sell some more junk. Okay. Okay. buy these. Guess I have nothing else worth selling. You're always welcome back. When really keeps the distribution away. center in tip top. Awesome. Well, that was a quick little visit here to New Atlantis. And I know my shopping trips usually take a lot longer. Oh, do we want to hit Outland? No, we're not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna do that to you. We're just gonna go to the spaceport and uh, jump back to Cheyenne and um, make our way to Aquila City and then the Rock Fortress Monastery of the Dark Angels, of course, and uh, meet with our tech priest there, Alex Shadid. I wish I could stop with the Warhammer references. I really do, but I can't.
hope everyone's having a great Monday, by the way. I tried to make, I'm, I'm trying to make this episode a little more exciting to start the week, which is why I decided to run the Red Mile um, at the start, because I wasn't sure what this thing with Marco was going to look like. I didn't know it was going to devolve into a, into a shootout. I didn't, Hello you know, I didn't think I was going to go all Frank Reynolds on everybody, but, you know, it has to be done. Certainly, Marco wouldn't be the first person to have underestimated our deputy here. Now we're back where we belong. Head on down and land. I really wish you could fly into the planets and land. I'm led to believe you can do that in No Man's Sky. And I really wish that was an option in this game. I think that would be so freaking cool. But I don't think this engine we'll can handle that. For a quick chat. I appreciate it when you're able. We'll talk when we get to the rock. Fortress Monastery of the Dark Angels. I think we did a little shopping here recently. So it's probably a waste of time to check other places for some 7.5 rounds, but I'm going to do it anyway. I, I, I know watching me shop for items is probably not the most thrilling bit of content, so I'm going to be quick. Do you have business with the, tra the trade authority looks to partner with... Happy to. Nothing. Check Laredo. I think it's weird that I think every time I come here, I can't find 7.5 rounds, not which is to do around here. I don't care. A full Laredo guarantee. I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons. Of Here's what I have in stock. See, I can never find 7.5 rounds here, which is bad. odd, because the uh, the gun that I'm using, the Razorback. Uh, at least, you know, in terms of the lore, is a uh, Laredo firearm. Even this one, this unique one, Deadeye. You can see, you can see it right there. Laredo. And they, for some reason, do not sell the ammo for what I believe is their premier weapon. Madness. Why do I have to go to Roland Arms for that? Ooh, that's not the rock. Fortress Monastery of the Dark Angels. That's the rock. Fortress Monastery of the Dark Angels. Sure, Laredo makes some good guns. Sure I gotta, um... Yeah, I really gotta stop. Oh, some more rounds, baby. Yeah, yeah, I really gotta... I've got, I've got the Dark Angels, Space Marines, and Primarchs on the brain lately. My brother and I have been I'll talking right so much about, uh... Warhammer lately. He's like really getting into it and it makes me so thrilled. Uh, but we've been talking a lot about the Primarchs lately. Uh, Sanguinius and I've been talking about Lionel Johnson and uh, Angron quite a bit. But instead of talking about that, why don't we talk to Sam Coe? I'm sure he's got something he wants to say. I don't got many friends so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'll just take the leap and start talking. <sighs> right. Right. You know, when I turned 18, 
My dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There's a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. All the charm of accounting wrapped up by bureaucracy. Joy. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. What was fun about it? Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. I hated it. But man, I tried. This, this was a rush. It's a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy. It felt like I was finally, truly living. Well, oh, this will not end well. <laughs> you think? So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Hmm. Go on with your story, Sam. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. Till I did. Were you good at it? At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you were cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Huh. Didn't you know you were walking a very dangerous path? I had booze enough, and drugs enough, to never really have to look too hard in the mirror. And I knew if I did, I wouldn't like what I saw. Or where it was going. Well, sounds like your boss took advantage of you. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Now, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. What? With these odds, or with those odds, why did you even try? It just felt right. Like this. This is what I was meant to be. And I was young, no care in the world. I thought, <laughs> what, there's only seven of you? I like those odds. You must have been incredibly relieved. <laughs> you think? And then, dependable and straight as an arrow. Lillian Hart came on the comm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The Rangers took them out, no problem. All oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She saw something in me, and I took the job, and that's it. All my cards are on the table. So that's it? Nothing more? Look, I'm guilty as hell of smuggling who knows what. And there are people I dealt with, bad people, that would recognize me. But I swear, I did more questionable stuff for the Rangers, under orders, mind you, than I ever did as a smuggler. 
And Lillian knew you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck up for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Well, you aren't that kid anymore. You're probably a better person for it. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot. Fast. But the thing that scares me is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... Yeah, when she's older and the time is right, you have to tell her. <sighs> well, ain't that something to look forward to? Just so you know, all this... This is why Lillian is... Something else. And I really need to own that. And have a tough talk with Lillian. Tell her about that follow-through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. Guessing that was an attempt at a joke, but that was not funny. But that's okay. Let's go see Ranger Shadid. A year or two back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. That man could drink. Just making my way. Helga says I spent too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Oh, it's going, buddy. So far, so good. Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Here. Ha oh, wait. Say, we'll hand him the slate and say, of course. Don't say you doubted me now. Who, me? Doubt you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. Well, all right. It's really an honor. And we leveled up. Who's over here that we have to talk to? Come in, deputy. Take a seat. See, I it doesn't really tell us that we have to do that. But let's uh, take a seat now. This won't take long. Oh, well, that's good. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Hmm. Is there anything we could have done? Not really, no. We can't be everywhere at once. That's fair. Right now, our best hope to stop them is you. All of these are, like, pretty intense. Let's just say, uh... It's my fault. I haven't done enough to stop them. Set those thoughts aside. Right now, I need you to focus. Sorry. How's your investigation proceeding? Once Al- uh, it's going well. Once Alex cracks their encryption, we could learn a lot. That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Come on, Emma. You know as well as I do how tough this job is. That's exactly my point. When it comes to deciding who earns a ranger's badge, I will not compromise. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. Is this a performance review? We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. Uh-oh. She was grateful for your timely arrival. And impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Well, causing friction with the council doesn't help anyone. Exactly. Dealing with the council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. 
Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. Uh-oh. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. Well, the informant was innocent. I had to help. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Well, people out there are suffering. I couldn't let them down. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar Ranger. Hell yeah. So what happened with Marco? Oh. I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. I put a bullet in his heart. Um, I tried to persuade him, but he wouldn't came quietly. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Hmm. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. She didn't have much time left, so she wanted to end things on her terms. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. What do you know about this mech factory? Never saw it myself, but I know it's a large facility, mostly underground. Hmm. If the first are occupying it, they'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex. Well, I'll go and check it out. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. <laughs> if the Marshal's right, you could encounter serious resistance. Be prepared. I was really hoping they were going to make me like a full ranger. Be ready for a fight, deputy. Someone say anything else you can tell me about the mech factory? It's a big facility, mostly beneath the surface. During the war, it was home to maybe a hundred technicians working around the clock. They used the planet's geothermal vents to power the smelting of metal for the mechs. That's about all I know. Never was much of a gearhead. Now, what kind of man is Paxton Hull? Smart, proud, and charismatic. A natural leader. Most in the 1st Cavalry would have laid down their lives on his orders without a second thought. But seeing so many of his soldiers die in the Battle of Nera, I think something broke in him that day. It's a sad story. And I sympathize. To a point. I've heard the stories. They say he was a changed man after that day, like he lost his soul. That and his regard for the value of life. Hmm. Guess we're done here. Can we talk to her? Be careful, deputy. Nope. I must confess. Let's look at something uh, in particular. What does Sam got here? Hmm. Take it easy. Well. Let's, uh... I think for now, we're gonna call this one right here. This was quite an exciting episode to start the Monday on. We ran the Red Mile. We saw Marco's incredibly lavish ship. And then we got to blow a hole right through the ranks of the 1st Cavalry. Aside from those ruffians, I think this was our first like real encounter with a group of them. So that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. Hopefully uh, Wednesday's episode will be 
um, hopefully another another good bit of action. Hopefully this mech factory will be packed with people, or at the very least, we can get ourselves some interesting dialogue and maybe learn a little bit more about the first here, who hired them, and uh, what it is they're really after besides revenge on the Freestar Collective. That seems a little... Hmm bland to me. I'm hoping there's like a, another motivation, something else we can uncover, a real gotcha kind of moment. I think that would that would be a really great time. But if you enjoyed this video, why don't you drop down there and uh, give me a like, maybe even subscribe. And uh, if you didn't enjoy it, well, leave me a dislike. You're not going to offend me, but if you do leave me a dislike, why don't you go down in the comments and let me know what it is that you didn't like. Was it my presentation? Do you not like this game? Or was there something else I failed to take into account? But more than any of that, I'm so glad that you decided to start your week gaming with me. And I will see you next time in the Starfield.